Oop, it's got a yield. Yield, even the flipping road signs here are dramatic. It's not a sword fight, is it? All I've got to do is give away the traffic. America. Mashe's barbershop. I could get a get a little trim, a little stash trim while I'm here. Might come in handy actually because right now we're on the way back down to New York to eat hot dogs. We got a couple of days before that happens though. So I thought we'd stop off on the way at a place called That Breakfast Place to do their breakfast challenge. It's in a town called Willy Mantic. I'm not gonna make any jokes, I promise. Let's get in there. Keep forgetting that this is a, one of those sideways opening boots. Ugh. Told you it was in a place called Willy Mantic. I wasn't making it up. Hello, Hi, uh, yeah, do you have a, like a breakfast challenge? I do. I'm assuming this one's been around for a while because the sign is kind of weathered. A 16 inch pancake, a dozen eggs. A dozen? Sounds like a lot. Half a pound of home fries, two orders of toast, sides of bacon, ham sausage, and a kielbasa. 30 minutes, 50 bucks. So you're making Adam, right? Yes. And all these, like, freezers running out of ink. But that's just for you to sign. It's pretty much saying if you get a tummy ache after, then we're not in charge of it. Okay, yeah, right. Come on, it's not a challenge if you don't get tummy ache afterwards. You want to see the wall over there? Yeah. The photos? Most of those are people that did not finish. But it's been done before, right? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah so there's so people. We saw oh, it's so doable. Do it. Yeah? Have you ever tried it? No. No? <laughs> Come on, man. Right, so this is the Wall of Fame. He's a professional. Yeah. A pro Tony Atlas. I'll have to look up Tony Atlas. One breakfast challenge, please. Yeah. So you think runny eggs is the, the, the runny eggs are the best? The pancakes kills you at the end. So you need something to soak up the dryness. So runny yolk goes into the pancake. Right. Well, yeah. Do let, let's do it. What, what, right. What's the official name for runny Over eggs? Over medium. So Over the medium. Cooked, but the yolk is runny, so you can pop them onto the pancake. Right. Yeah. I'll, I'll get them like right. that. Yeah. yeah. And what kind of bread would you like with it? We have white wheat, rye, pumpernickel, English muffin. Ooh. Why not English muffin? English Since I'm muffins? English, okay. right? <laughs> Why not enjoy what you're going to torture yourself with? <laughs> oh my okay, god. Everybody. Is that it? That's it? That's it. Oh, That's Jesus it, Christ. Mr. You know, I know that... Here's your appetizer, sir. <laughs> Funny. I mean, it's a lot of food without the pancake underneath there. I have to get the English muffins, though. Colonial representation. All right, guys. Adam here has visited from Leeds. Correct me if I'm wrong. Leeds? Leeds, yeah, yeah. In England, he does food challenges all around. He came here to that breakfast place to give it a try for his YouTube channel. 30 minutes to finish a 16 inch pancake. He has a dozen eggs, two orders of toast, a side of ham, bacon, sausage, kielbasa, and a half pound of home fries. No bathroom breaks. No bathroom breaks. Uh, you, you, you have my word, yeah. Okay. Let's wish Adam good luck, guys. <laughs> All right, five, four, three, two, one. Time to start now. Go on then, it's been a while. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. We're back in Connecticut today, I think. I've lost track. Connecticut or Massachusetts? One of the two. And we're at that breakfast place taking a swing at the American Breakfast Challenge. It costs $50. But if you can stuff it all down inside half an hour, not only is your meal free, but you get a t-shirt, a hoodie, and a mug too. Not to mention, of course, a spot on the Wall of Fame next to the, uh, the legendary Tony Atlas. <laughs> not the beard. I know, I got egg in my beard. You get a lot of eggs, so I thought I'd just do half of them straight up. Yeah, one whole dozen to be precise. So I just decided to neck six of them off the bat, warm the throat up a bit, you know, before moving on to the tougher components. Is this syrup? Yeah. It is syrup. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to check. 
what do you think it was? Balsamic vinegar or something? Come on now. Better to be safe rather than sorry though, because I'm gonna use a lot of it. No distractions, he's on a mission. <laughs> <laughs> Don't keep walking by him. Aww, that's nice of you to say. Is that really pretty? Yeah, these people don't know who they're dealing with. Not even the apocalypse itself could deter me from enjoying American breakfast food. Onto the home fries now, which I enjoyed. They were nice and herby. I've got home fries in my nose. You got home fries in your nose? Yeah. Wrong hole, buddy. <laughs> Oh, this is delicious. No, no, I'm going to be there. Oh, you have your coffee and I'm going to your window. Yeah, I mean, this is my favourite kind of cuisine, really, so maybe I'm easily impressed, but the food's going down a treat so far. Maybe the pancake will be the hard part. I'm using the full container. Holy syrup. Yeah, you can tax me later for the extra syrup. What is this, by the way? All right, we call this gammon in England. What is it? Gammon. 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 Got it. Yeah. Ham steak. The more you talk, the longer it takes. You're five minutes down. All right, flipping heck. You know, there's a reason why I leave Mrs. Bird at home on these trips. I'm trying to enjoy my meal here. These lot are cracking the whip. We got plenty of time to play with, I think. I think uh, our old mate Tony Atlas did this from what they told me in 23 minutes. And another mate of mine, Jeff Esper, who I think is ranked like the second best competitive eater in the world, did this in 16 minutes or so, which is, is pretty beastly. We, we've got half an hour though, lots of time to go. Trust me on this. I don't know if that's gonna work. What are you doing, mate? I think maybe I was planning on trying to roll it and just neck it like a wrap or something. Quickly realised that probably wasn't gonna work. And then it's down, 20 and old! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna post it on TikTok and get 100 million followers. <laughs> oh, you wanna get a TikTok. Yeah, well, I know. How dare I? <laughs> yeah, over my dead body, over my rotting acrid carcass. I don't know if I've uh, mentioned it before, but I'm not what you would call a fan of TikTok. Is that Larry David in the background there? <laughs> I've literally used the full container of syrup. Ah, oh, that was nice, wasn't it? People really are quite supportive out here. Just got the remaining, what do you reckon, half of the pancake to go now? And the English muffins too. Can't forget those. A couple of eggs left on top. I'm quite glad I took the server's recommendation on the fried eggs with a runny yolk. That was a nice bit of caddying from her. I'll get right on it. Just doing a bit of housekeeping here. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I'll catch you at the next one.
my jewels. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, there's a little bit of pancake there. <laughs> uh oh, time uh -oh. to Dis Disqualified. Alright. Your very own that breakfast place mug. Oh, you get a mug as well. You get a shirt and a sweatshirt. That's unbelievable. Thank you very much. Free meal, hoodie, and a t shirt. I like the, the pink. What a nice bunch of people. I think I like the mug, apart from all the uh, the advertisements for like Discovery Learning Center, MJT Roofing, Certified Auto Repair. Apart from that, it's nice. I like the colorway. Yeah. It's a nice color scheme. Yeah, I feel pretty good. They say breakfast is the most important meal of the day, right? Yeah. <laughs>